Hi, I'm Nasa Peek, and this is my Martin Delaney response for the, for the discussion board. So, um, after reading uh, Delaney, uh, doing a little, after reading the introduction and reading um, the uh, parts from his book, uh, it's clear that Delaney was a black nationalist, and he's seen as the father of the black nationalists, which is, in he advocated for, you know, black self-determination, uh, racial solidarity, um, you know, a love of oneself, um, pride in your heritage, pride in, be pride in being African, you know, like not trying to lose that African, your African sense, being in America and um, all those other ethnocentric ideals that surround, that um, were centered in uh, the African American. And um, so basically in his book, The Condition, um, he, in a nutshell, he urges free and fugitive slaves to basically leave the United States, like to cut it short, leave. And um, at first he started, it was towards the West, he wanted to establish a place in the West. He moved that to Central America and ultimately ended up in moving the, the whole start of the Back to Africa movement that you would see with like, you know, Marcus Garvey and the future. But um, uh, he wanted them to basically uh, immigrate or, you know, leave the United States um, uh, to escape the oppression and to escape the, you know, the, ra the, the racism that existed in America and um, leave every all black, uh, black people, you know, free blacks and fugitive slaves, leave America and establish a sovereign nation. Uh, that where they can live under equality and liberty, and um, you know he, would, he stated that uh, the blacks need to create a be, become the majority, and the only way to become a majority because obviously whites were the majority in America. They had to leave. They were the minority. They will forever and always be the minority in America. And in his mind, will never be able to reach their full potential being the minority. And um, that's his, his argument in a nutshell. And I think. I think it's it's effective in the sense where he is um, creating, you know, dialogue and, you know, obviously his work was meant for an audience of mixed, of, of mixed people, it was meant for free blacks, obviously, but also uh, whites. I'm sure those who are um, abolitionists as well, I'm, I'm sure non-abolitionists read it, but that's his intended audience and that's going to create circulation and buzz and create um, conversation. Um... So, but it was effective in his ultimate goal, which was to move, which, which was to get black people, you know, them to leave Amer uh, United, the United States. It obviously, you know, we can see from, you know, the history speaks for itself that it was not effective in that sense. But um, I don't really fault Delaney in that. I don't think I fault anyone, per se. It's just, I think, uh, to get a people, you know, a, a nation in Delaney's. Uh, words to get up and move themselves where they're, you know, sat, unfortunately, say comfortable, you know, in America. This was, you know, the land of the free, and, um, you know, obviously not, but, you know, when someone's selling you a dream, and this is all these people know, these are, you know, uh, f uh, second, third, maybe even fourth generations who've already been there. They're comfortable. They, at this point, they don't know anything about Africa. It's, you know, it's not like these are first generation slaves who, who came from Africa, these people, the people he's talking to know nothing about Africa. A lot of them were actually, including uh, Delaney himself, were, were, were born free, you know, so they didn't have to endure the uh, hardships and the tragedies and the monstrosities of slavery, but, you know, they did have to deal with the aftermath of racial tension. And uh, one main point that Delaney talked about in his work was uh, the Fugitive Slave Act. And he would urge free and fugitive slaves to leave because the Fugitive Slave Act uh, allowed um, masters to claim their supposedly uh, runaway slaves, but there was no stipulations on this. So he, they, a white person, a white master, could say, "You're my slave. You ran away from me. This could be a free person." And they just this is it, there was no stipulations to it. And so at this point, black people were not free. You know, they were not safe. In America, because they were sub they were subjectable to being re enslaved. So that you know, 
that 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 was his notion of them not being free. Um, so I guess I, I I agree with his uh his notion. I really did I do like you know the ethnocentric ideals that he wanted to push. You know, self love, pride in your ancestry, uh, solidarity, and uh, black people being their own support. You know, being there for themselves, having their own self determination, and having to and they are a nation. We we are a nation. So I I agree with that in a sense. But I do think it's difficult to get up and leave. You know, one person can do it, sure, maybe even ten. But I think it's hard to get a whole nation of people to go. And I, I wish I could say without probable cause, one would think that, you know, discrimination, racism, uh, lynchings, beatings, uh, you know, slavery would be that. But I'm not sure what it would take necessarily to get that to to be a thing but I agree with his notion of black nationalism and you know black pride but his you know the whole back to Africa movement it, it make it sound it, it sounds good on paper it looks good but I think I'm not really sure I wouldn't even know how to go go about executing it uh, or you know, if someone were to deliver that to me, if I would even, you know, agree with them. I'm not sure. I have, it's, never, it's never been presented to me. So, you know, I can't say. But I'd like to think that he had very good intentions with everything he did. And he's a, a wonderful man. He's a smart man. His work was a little difficult to get through. It was kind of, you know, it was dense. But once you get through it, it's, it's very nice. I really enjoyed it.